I am at Thompson Racing Fabrication to check out the CRX. Um, they got the cage all like welded and super awesome and I can't wait to see it. Uh, I don't really know how their parking works here, so I'll just leave it here. It looks so good. to make these brackets to mount the bumper better uh, because it was they're gonna get different hardware for this too so this is how the front bumpers were mounted also which is why I had to make the brackets for it back here and I'm gonna work on this. Um, this boat was our first boat in 2008. We ordered it from the factory and picked out every single option, every color. I love this boat. My dad has it now, that's our boat. So right now I am figuring out the blower stopped working. Um, so I have to pull the sub box out, but I discovered that the sub box got pretty wet and plywood doesn't like water. It actually at some point was covered in fiberglass. I don't really know what happened. Uh, but whatever. Uh, so I'm going to rip this sub box out, get to the blower and the heater to see if I can figure out why they aren't working, fix them, and then build a new sub box. Probably not all today. Hopefully I can get the blower and the heater out and all that, and then I can order the pieces we need and get this thing moving. Wow. This is really bad. <laughs> Literally the whole sub box is just gone. So I will say this boat's a 2008 and I built this sub box in 2008. So it, at some point, like you can see, I painted it, but it was covered in undercoating and fiberglass and it just isn't there anymore. So the way the boat's designed, water sits down in there and I didn't raise it up. It's my own fault, but that's crazy. Two hours later, uh, got everything out, cleaned up, uh, got the heater out and I actually got it to work. Um, basically the blower motor was seized up. I hooked it up to the golf cart batteries, which are 24 volt and it. It was really loud at first, but now it sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm going to look up the heater online and see how much it costs. I might just replace the blower motors just to be safe because they are pretty crusty, but yeah, overall not, not bad. Here's the blower. Uh, also just just seized up so the blower is super easy uh, I thought it was back here by the gas tank but it's actually up here right by the engine so that should be super easy to just rip out replace and yeah then I can go start putting it back together I need to get a shop back here I have one but I don't have bags so kind of think I'm gonna leave the interior out of it put all the electronics and stuff in put build a sub box for it but I'm gonna leave the seats out the f I'll put this floor piece back in but this back floor piece I'm gonna leave out too just so my dad can power wash it or whatever on his way home because why not put the cover on I'm gonna make a new one of those too yeah I'm gonna pull out the blower order those pieces and then since I don't have the parts to finish this thing I'm gonna start well I already have started working on this so what I'm doing here I guess you can't really see that well uh, but I installed the voltage regulator and then I built this little wiring harness right here that connects to the voltage regulator and then I did tech flex and stuff. Uh, so some of these run up and some of them run to the alternator. So basically I'm just gonna separate these out. I just don't have the wiring diagram with me. So I'm gonna try to find it on my iPad real quick. Um, so once I have that figured out, what I'm gonna do is lower the car down uh, and clean up some of the wires in there too. And then I'll figure out where these need to connect to and then be able to actually drive this car. I'm kind of thinking I want to see if I can get the alternator to charge and be good. And then I'll move this boat and start driving this car because I want to. Uh, one step forward, 38 steps back. So I pulled the ignition out. Basically like every wire in this car has like 10 terminations and it's, it's just a mess. So. 
The ignition used to be back here. Uh, I'm going to move it to right here. And there's some other, there was like a fuse panel that I put here that I got rid of and like this other relay thing, this thing. I don't know what this thing does, but I'm going to hide that down low. Basically, I'm going to move everything lower into the engine compartment just so it looks nicer. I don't have my right angle drill, so I can't remount the ignition. So I'm just kind of getting everything cleaned up. I'm going to go home, I think, wash my hands, and then print some wiring diagrams to just like have here because I don't really have any idea otherwise on how to hook this stuff up. So <laughs> uh, I think that this should be fine. This car I am not driving home today, right now at least, because... It doesn't run at all because I took the ignition out. The ignition's super easy to hook up. I could throw it back in if I wanted to drive it, but I want it to look nice and be awesome. So once I get the wiring stuff done, then I'm gonna focus on like actually cleaning all of this. The car leaked oil and it just sprays it everywhere. So it looks terrible under the hood. I also need to pull the hood off at some point so that I can get it resprayed, but that's not something I'm gonna do right now either. So I'm gonna sit here and relax for a minute and then probably head home.